welcome back to my channel Merry Christmas to you all the amount of people that guessed this right when I put the question in my Instagram stories got me shook yes I bought me a new car for Christmas Merry Christmas to me I am my best investment and why not <laughs> I love my new car. I, I I am so in love with it. I saw it, and the second I saw it, I knew I was gonna walk out of it with it. But let me just tell you the story behind the reason why I went and got me a new car just two years after I got my previous car. So prior to I've only had three cars now and my first car I've had it for 17 years and it never gave me a problem one it was brand new and two I really hardly ever drove it this much because I was living in a city and it was parked I only used my car on weekends but when this car started breaking when I bought the second car it had 70,000 miles I was a little skeptical to buy it because my biggest fear was that I would be stranded with a used car and my biggest fear came to be true so here I am I'm showing you how I got stranded not once but maybe three times and the third time I really started freaking out because I thought well it could just be the battery but when I pressed that button and the dashboard completely lit up and the noise that it was making in a car that was not that old and I've only had for two years who worried me and then I started thinking oh my god this is the reason why I never wanted to buy a, new, a used car I've always had new cars and I've always taken care of it and this was the first I I really 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 got really scared and the fear that I had that this would ever happen to be happened I I got really upset I didn't know what to do I had a friend he Help me. Yes, I could have called, um, what is it, AAA. My insurance had some service. Lexus itself has a service. But by the time that I got to it, it was really late. So I went and got my nails done. <laughs> and then I walked to my friend's house for probably over a half hour walk in the dark and really upset. He went and he came to where my car was and he jumped my car and told me the battery might be the problem he told me that he would just jump it it took a while for the battery to recharge but I was able to drive it back home but the very next day it happened again and my neighbor gave me the booze but that was my sign and I said nope I have to go to the dealership they need to know what's going on and they have to fix it so let me just take you <laughs> through the process of what happens within the Lexus dealership. And here in Florida, it's a little different because back home, you know, you just get a service. They give you a loaner. You go and buy your day, but not here. Here, they don't always have a loaner. And I feel, I, I think this is really designed for you to stay there. They have all the goodies. They have an amazing serenity lounge that you could just go and relax it's very nice and cozy in there they have um, a nice sitting area they also have um, like little cubicles that you could go and sit down and work while your car is being worked on because like i said they don't always have a loaner for you so they kind of want you to spend time in the in the dealership in there so they have this little kiosk that you just go sit down and get your work done and it's very peaceful this nice music playing constantly all the time they're very techy so you know they'll send you these messages on your phone just to let you know the progress in your car they come and check on you constantly non-stop and i first went in there to service my car but when they came out and told me the pricing of what it was going to cost me to fix everything that was wrong with the car i was like oh wow of course, I. they have a nice lounge with coffee. All the coffee you can drink. They have breakfast lunch, and lunch also sometimes when you are there for a long time. They have like this nice menu of coffees and salads and croissants and like everything. They really, really, really treat you really, really nice in there. 
anyways so when they told me the price of what the servicing was going to be i just started asking the questions like how much more would it be for me to just get a new car of course my car was sitting right in front of me when i walked down this hallway and the options that they have in that showroom are so nice and amazing so i asked the question they took me outside because they saw the model of my car they didn't have the same car that i had and i only like suvs i don't like regular cars so the guy was walking me around the parking lot just letting me know what they had available not one of them was new they had a lot of used cars and i, I kept telling him i don't think i want to get in, in, in a used car again so I kept coming to my car and I kept saying, oh my God, it's super gray. It's almost black, but the technology included in this beauty was what caught my attention. And the way the salesperson, and of course they're designed to make you want to buy the car. They give you all the specs. They take, you know, they tell you about all the technology. And this is a 2023 NX this mirror guys let me just show you what it does boom this is my camera i can see this is my camera <laughs> i love it he tried to make um to want to make me want to buy this blue car it was the same model as my car and it was new and i was like there's no way i'm buying this blue car there's no absolutely no 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 so he took me for a test drive on my car he kept explaining the technology what things did this amazing feature that a lot of the newer cars have already but the more he spoke to me there was like oh my god I love technology I love the features in this car I took it for a drive and that was a wrap <laughs> I cannot believe the smooth of a ride it was, but I was more in love with the newness of it. I knew this car, they just unpacked it from the truck, and I, the more I saw it, the more I was like, I could see myself in this car. I could really see myself in this car. It wasn't too much of a difference in pricing um, when it came to financing the car. It was almost the same as my other car. One, because I had given my car and they gave me the money, the value of my car and they put it up to this car, which brought my loan down for almost $22,000. So it worked out for me. And I was like, oh, of course. Same payments, newer car, phenomenally beautiful. This high technology, sign me up, sir. <laughs> So as I went in just to get my car fixed, by the way, my bill to fix the car was almost $5,000. $5,000. No thank you. I walked out of there with a very nice car. <laughs> Didn't have that in my mind to buy a new car. But again, my fear of being stranded and alone yeah i have services that could just put that fear and in florida you just have to drive everywhere so i had my other car for 17 years and i never ever had issues with that car my problem started when i bought a used car with 70,000 miles i didn't the person that had it prior to me had had a car accident they had fixed it up nicely this was um the major problem that i had but he had like some other little problems it were they were pretty minor i have to say but when your biggest fear becomes a reality you just ask where do i sign <laughs> and i did they make it very very quick for you to buy a car technology these days just takes over i signed those papers and just like that i was sitting on a brand new Lexus NX from 2023. I work hard for my money. Why not? <laughs> so with the Christmas spirit, I just want to tell you, you are your best investment. And if you want to buy yourself a new car for whatever reason, if you work hard for your money, honey, go get the new car. Out with the old 
in with the new. I didn't spend much money on anybody else but myself and my son this Christmas season. So, Merry Christmas to me and Merry Christmas to you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye.